Hey guys, this is Jeffrey Hack, and I'm excited to share with you how to get more views on YouTube. Now, I know what you're thinking, why should you trust me because I only have 1,200 subscribers? Well, I'm here to tell you, I've been doing some research and watching several videos and just paying attention to how the YouTube algorithm works. I've literally done my research these past few days, and I found a few videos recently that really just opened my mind on how the real YouTube algorithm works. And by practicing these tactics I'm about to share with you guys, you too can make your videos grow even more within the next coming months. So whenever you're watching a video like mine, you're going to see a suggested <laughs> video section like right here or here, I don't know which side it's going to be on. Pretty much YouTube is understanding your algorithm and what you're interested in watching. So therefore, if you keep watching videos like mine where you're trying to figure out how to get more views, you're doing YouTube a favor by staying on the platform, spending more of your time watching videos on how to get more views when you could also be uploading a video yourself doing the same thing. No, but seriously, if you want to be real about this, you want to focus on the title of your video. Before you upload your video, you want to make sure it has a catchy title. Something that's creative, short, and direct. So I'm a musician on YouTube, I have been for years, and whenever I post a video, I would title the song, Song, Artist, and My Name. Or I would say, Song, Artist, Acoustic Cover. But the thing is, there are already tons of videos that have the same title, and tags, and descriptions, and metadata. So what you should be doing then is looking at that video, studying it, and asking yourself what can I do that's similar to what that creator did to gain their viewers interest. One of the most important things to focus on when it comes to the YouTube algorithm is to post more frequently and to engage your audience. If someone comments on your video, reply right back to them. If someone likes your video, thank them for liking it. I don't know if there's a way you can do that. If someone gives you a hate comment, tell them to go. And if you don't have engagement with your videos, YouTube is going to think that your videos aren't relevant and people are not going to want to watch them. So why should YouTube be recommending your videos to others if it's not getting much attention and engagement and so on and so forth? Treat YouTube like it's your own business. YouTube wants you to stay on their platform for as long as possible. So how do you do that? It's an algorithm. Based on the engagement in your video, whether it be comments, likes, or views, that shows YouTube that your video is doing well and they want to promote your video more. So how do I even get my video to the highest ranking? Well, it's not that simple and it takes time. If there's anything I've learned in my life, it's that patience is key. Also, actions speak louder than words. For years I've been trying to figure out how do I get more views on YouTube and engage my audience and get their interest and everything because it's hard. It's hard to figure it out because of course, nothing comes easy in life. When I first started making YouTube videos, I'd immediately post it to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat in hopes that I would gain more of a following. I hoped that my views would grow and people would become interested and therefore share with their friends. The more I thought about it, when you share to social media, you're so focused on your friends and hoping that they share your videos and that they support you, da 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 da. They do. They always will support you. Maybe some won't. But that's okay because you're making your videos because you want to. So with YouTube, the algorithm gives you a chance to share your interest and passion in whatever type of video content you create with those that have the same interest in watching. So if you do post to social media, it's not a bad idea, but you want to focus on expanding the people you reach out to instead of targeting the same audience over and over again. Just because it can get annoying. I know some people who have gotten really annoyed with others that have messaged them over Facebook, Instagram or Twitter of the same type of content they make over and over on YouTube. Not gonna lie, I did that a few times, but if I was in the shoes of that person, I would be getting pretty annoyed as well. You want to make sure that your video is getting enough watch time. You can easily do this by going to the YouTube studio and looking at your analytics. I've noticed that my views lately have been getting an increasingly amount of views because of the way I've been retitling them and editing my description and therefore adding different types of tags. YouTube suggests videos that are doing well and have a better engagement. So it's important to tag your video as well with keywords that relate to what your video is about. I used to think tagging on YouTube meant you'd search a certain word and then YouTube would just pop. Tagging works in this kind of sense. Pretty much YouTube is trying to better understand what your content is about so they can suggest it to the right audience. If you don't tag your videos the right way and you misguide YouTube, your videos could end up somewhere else. The purpose of tagging in YouTube is for YouTube to understand what your video is about and try to get that video to as many suggested YouTube audiences 
audiences that would be interested in watching your video. However, if your video is not interesting and engaging and it doesn't spark their interest, YouTube is not going to work with you. YouTube is going to find another video on the platform and hopefully that video will bring some more views in. Because remember, YouTube wants their viewer to stay on the platform for as long as possible. And in order to do that, you need to have an entertaining and engaging video. And tags are the key for YouTube to understand what your video is about and how you want to market it. So for example, for me, I made a video about music, so I put in a tag, music video, talent, guitar, singer, that's great and all, but it's not specific enough. I need I need a tag that's juicy, something that's catchy. So for this video, I'll probably put down YouTube because that's a tag that works for a lot of people. But it's also juicy and it's to the point. So YouTube is going to recommend my video to you because you're interested in learning how to get more views on YouTube. If you make a video on YouTube that's not engaging at all, then YouTube has no reason to promote your video to someone else because it's not attracting, because it's not doing the business that YouTube wants it to do. What are some things that you can do? Well, to start off, you can watch your own video as soon as you upload it. That's right. Just watch the full length duration of your video, and when you're done, click the like button. It's because when you watch that video, you're engaging in your own video. Therefore, YouTube sees engagement, pretty much showing YouTube that you're interested in your own video and that someone else should watch it too because it's that interesting. And I've seen a lot of videos where they have an introduction, middle, and end. Introduction usually consists of, hello, my name is Jeffrey and today I'm going to show you how to get more views on YouTube. Or it can go something like this, you, like my video, subscribe, comment below, thank you. Or something like this. I hate my life. But really, if we're being serious right now, you want to have an exciting introduction. Pretty much let the audience know what your video is going to be about. If I click on a video about music, I don't want it to be a video about golf. I'm instantly going to click away from that. Never forget, in the ending of your video, make a call to action statement. If you want to keep watching more videos, please subscribe down below and click that bell so you can get more notifications whenever I upload a new video. And if you hated my video, just kick me in the face. Another crucial thing about YouTube that I know is really tricky for some users is make sure that your videos are getting enough watch time because if you're not getting enough watch time on YouTube, YouTube isn't going to try to recommend your video to others because they're just wasting their time. Now in my instance, I'm a musician on YouTube, so my videos are going to be more like three to four minutes long. But if you're a vlogger, you do makeup tutorials or how-to, you're a techie or you make business videos, you might want to make your videos 10 to 15 minutes longer. No, you should make your videos 10 to 15 minutes longer because the longer your videos are, the more interested your viewers get, the more chances your YouTube video is going to be getting more views, more suggestions, and more impressions. So in order to do that, you need content on the platform that people are willing to spend their time watching. Now there are people who make all sorts of videos, whether it be music, traveling, gaming, makeup tutorials, how to do something like how to get more views on YouTube. If there's one thing I take away from this whole YouTube algorithm, it's the fact that YouTube is its own platform. And I never fully understood this until today. Watching multiple YouTube videos, doing a bunch of research on this topic. I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens to this video and where the views grow. I hope that my insights were helpful to you and that you continue to keep working on YouTube videos and post frequently because that's what you need to do in order to reach engagement and create a larger audience. And I know, it can be tough and difficult, especially when you're a starting YouTuber and you don't have much of a following. But you know what? Keep posting videos because that's how you're going to gain your following. If you don't post videos, there's nothing to watch. And if there's nothing to watch, your engagement goes <clears throat> So keep posting videos put some personality into it, make them exciting, make creative thumbnails that people will want to click on. Anyway, that's enough of me. If you guys like this video, remember to give it a like down below, comment your thoughts, what are some other suggestions you can give the rest of the YouTube community that you know about and I didn't know about. Please share your thoughts. And as always, subscribe down below, click that bell if you'd like to get more videos from me coming your way. I make a lot of music content down here and I recently just recorded an original song called A Part of Me that I plan to share to this platform very soon. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.